You should get some harder numbers. We should get some uh, more specific plans on how the city plans to deal with what may or may not be, you know, a summer surge of COVID. Not too surprising that better than half of the new cases in the state of Louisiana, you know, are coming from right here in New Orleans since thousands of our closest friends have been gathering here off and on you know, basically ever since Mardi Gras. So take a look at the numbers right now. A little better than 1,300 uh, new cases have been reported. Two new deaths, sadly. 96 people in the hospital, four on ventilators. Those not fully vaccinated, by the way, account for better than half of the new cases and half the deaths. Actually, those numbers could be a little bit higher than reported because now a lot of people are testing at home. So the focus right now is preventing that summer surge we've been talking about. We know about the Omicron variants. The symptoms are supposed to be slightly less uh, uh, virulent, if you will, but certainly more contagious. So not surprisingly, folks are feeling vulnerable and they are taking precautions. I've had COVID and I got it from somebody who wouldn't wear a mask and I've had the A-type flu from somebody who wouldn't get the flu shot and then I got bronchitis which I normally have once a year but I got it immediately right after all of that. After Mardi Gras we didn't get a big jump so you know with Jazz Fest hopefully we don't get a big jump and, and it's good we, we feel like we can go out again. You know, it's good to feel good and feel like you can go out. It's not so good just to be complacent about it. If you're feeling vulnerable, it's smart to take those precautions. We're going to hear from the city's health officials right here on the steps of City Hall at 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, we probably will hear about those uh, harder numbers and certainly hear about plans and suggestions to make this summer surge less, if you will. Guys, back to you. All right, Heath. And also...